This is just a sample of the audiobook. To get the complete audiobook access the link posted in the first comment. If quite convenient, sir. It's not convenient. And it's not fair. If I was to dock a half crown for it, you'd think yourself ill-used, I'll be bound. Yes, sir. Bah! Christmas. Nothing but a poor excuse to pick a man's pocket every December 25th. My old partner Marley agreed well with me. He thought it a lot of humbug, too. And you, a clerk, with fifteen shillings a week and a wife and a family, talking about a Merry Christmas. Bah! M May I have tomorrow off, sir? I suppose you must. But be here all the earlier the next morning. Oh, yes, sir. I will. And, and thank you, sir. Who's that, Cratchit? Uh, two men, sir. I don't know who they are. Out of my way. Can I help you? Scrooge and Marley's, I believe. Have we the pleasure of addressing Mr. Scrooge or Mr. Marley? Mr. Marley has been dead these seven years. Since you ask, he died seven years ago this very night. Oh, we are sorry to hear that. But we have no doubt his liberality is well represented by his surviving partner. Not interested. Sir? Not interested. At this festive season, Mr. Scrooge, it is more than desirable that we make some slight provision for the poor and destitute. Oh, yes. So many are lacking the common necessities and are suffering greatly. Are there no prisons? Well, I should say there are plenty of prisons. And the union workhouses, are they still in operation? They are. Still, I, I wish I could say they were not. The shelters are in full vigor, then? Very busy. Oh, I was afraid from what you said at first that something had occurred to stop them in their useful course. But, sir, these organizations can hardly keep up. It is because of that a few of us are endeavoring to raise a, a fund to buy the poor some meat and drink and means of warmth. We choose this time because it is a time of all others, when want is keenly felt and abundance rejoices. What shall I put you down for? Nothing. You wish to remain anonymous. I wish to be left alone. Sir? Since you ask me what I wish, that is my answer. I don't make merry myself at Christmas. My partner Marley never did. And I can't afford to make idle people merry. I help to support the establishments I have mentioned. They cost enough. And those that are badly off can go there. But, sir, many can't go there. And many would rather die than go there. If they would rather die, they had better do it and decrease the surplus population. But, sir... Crash it back to work. Besides, gentlemen, that is not my business. It is enough for a man to understand his own business and not interfere with other people's. So... I bid you good afternoon. Good afternoon. Uh, good afternoon. Uh. Merry Christmas, Bob. Good to see you. Good to see you as well, sir. And a Merry Christmas to you. Cratchit, what are you doing? Uncle! Your nephew brought you a fresh-baked fruitcake, sir. A Merry Christmas, Uncle. God save you. Bah! Humbug. Christmas a humbug, Uncle? You don't mean that. I'm sure. I do. Merry Christmas. What right have you to be merry? What reason have you to be merry? You're poor enough? Come, then. What right have you to be dismal? What right have you to be remorseful? You're rich enough. Bah! Humbug. Don't be cross, Uncle. What else can I be when I live in such a world of fools as this? Merry Christmas. Out upon Merry Christmas. What's it to you but a time of paying bills without money? If I could have my way, every idiot who goes about with Merry Christmas on his lips should be boiled in his own pudding. Uncle. Nephew, keep your Christmas in your own way and let me keep it in mine. Keep it? But you don't keep it. Let me leave it alone, then. Much good as it has ever done you, or... Why, Uncle, it has done me a lot of good. It's brought me a good time. A kind, 
forgiving, charitable, happy time. The only time I know the whole year when men and women open their hearts. Hearts that sometimes stay closed the rest of the year. Yes, Uncle.